So we have another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game coming to the Switch, and most likely other consoles as well. What game is it, and where has it already been released? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this announcement came as part of Nintendo's Indie World presentation, and you can see the announcement here over on X. Get ready for TMNT Splintered Fate on Nintendo Switch this July. Join the Turtles in a thrilling roguelike adventure. So as this announcement says, this is a roguelike game and it's actually the first roguelike TMNT game. However, this isn't the first platform that this game has been on. It is actually already part of Apple Arcade, and that's that subscription service that Apple has that's kind of like Game Pass, where you get a library of games when you subscribe. And Apple has had other games like this one that was first exclusively on Apple Arcade and then was brought to other platforms. Right offhand, I can think of Air Twister. That was this sort of space harrier type game, and it was developed by Yu Suzuki, who was the developer of Space Harrier. But that game also found its way to other platforms. And I haven't followed some of the Apple Arcade stuff closely, but my guess is that Apple's giving some type of financial incentive to have a game on Apple Arcade exclusively, at least maybe just a timed exclusive. But now Splintered Fate is being brought to the Switch as a timed exclusive for console this July. We don't have an exact date just yet. So you may be wondering what the game is actually like. Well, the whole plot is that Splinter has been kidnapped and you're out to rescue him. And in true roguelike fashion, the levels are randomly generated, so every playthrough will be different. And you can play as one of the four different turtles, each with their own unique weapons. And you'll earn some power-ups as you go through, but those are going to be gone as soon as you're defeated. However, you can spend in-game currency back at your lair to get some permanent upgrades. So you sort of have this Hades-type gameplay. And you can play up to four players online, and a player can drop in and out at any time. Now there's no mention of four player couch co-op, but since the Apple Arcade version didn't have local co-op, I'm not expecting this one to, at least at launch. Maybe that might be a future update, or maybe it's something they're working on right now, which is why the game's not coming until July. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But let me know your thoughts. Have you played Splintered Fate on Apple Arcade? And is it something that you would pick up for the Switch or recommend others do as well? Drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. It really does help the channel out quite a bit. I want to thank you for watching and be good.